we're getting close now. We're just about to receive the diamond pickaxe of 8-bit game development. The Commander X16 is incoming, so I thought I'd have a quick round up, a look at the uh, possible options if you're a budding developer like me, so here we go. Seeing as we're quite close to the release of the Commander X16, I've been brushing up on my basics, so i um, got my old Amiga, Amiga basic book out, been having a look through it and trying to write some programs. Uh, BBC basic is kind of a bit useless, it's too different, and the graphics are completely different, so yeah, don't worry about that, um, but the main one that I think you want to focus on if you're like me if you want to get into development and write games on this computer that you're going to share with other people and hopefully improve your skills you want one of these babies the command uh, see i'm doing it now the commodore 64 ring binder manual now this is actually what i used to learn basic in the first place obviously i well not obviously but i learned it on bbc first but like i say it's different so this is where i really started to learn it uh, and what i'm hoping is on the commander there's going to be a some sort of tool to convert my basic code into assembly. That would be lovely if they could do that so my games will run even quicker. But um, yeah, I just thought it would be a good chance to go through some other stuff. So this is actually a cartridge for the Commodore 64 that came out called Simon's Basic. And what it does, it adds new commands for um, graphics and various things that are useful in games and stuff like that. So um, it's one of these things. You can see that. And... Uh, as far as I know, this will fit in the cartridge slot for the Commander X16. Don't quote me on that. I might be making that up, but I think this might actually fit in it. So that'll be interesting. See whether I can get some use out of it. But this is another thing. I think the extended basic that comes with the um, extended Commodore kernel, which is what the Commander is going to be using, might actually have some of this stuff in there. Because there was a, uh, I think it was just called Super Basic Extender or something like that. There was an official one of these from Commodore. Sorry about that, my phone going off. Uh, so yeah, anyway, I'm going to make this a quick video, but this is a great opportunity, not just for David and his pet project, his machine, which I rather like. This is a good opportunity for us. Think of the potential of, the, of this machine, right? It's easy to develop on. It's not that expensive, really. I mean, it's, you know, okay, there's arguments about whether it's expensive or not. I don't think it is. Once you've got it, everything you buy after that from David is going to be super cheap and super good value. So over the lifetime of the thing, you're definitely going to think it's good value. But you yourself could actually add something to that community. Like that's what I'm planning to do is write a GPT client if it's possible, write some games and see what this little machine can do. Because if you look up and down the specs, it's actually not too bad. In terms of an 8-bit machine, it's wild really, the specs on there. I never say that. It's probably the first and last time you'll ever hear me say wild. <laughs> so yeah, um, any budding MIDI sequences, like I've had a dabble, I was alright. I had Music 2000 on the PlayStation. So that kind of thing is a possibility. Um, graphics, pixel art editors, small animations. I think you might even be able to do full screen animations because if you've got enough RAM. I, I worked it out earlier. I can't remember how much RAM you need for a full screen frame of animation. With uh, I, I based it on 64 colors. Oh, well, the reason I worked it out, I was like, right, which other SBCs that can run basic can do full screen animations? It turns out not many, <laughs> really. So I think this one can, though, so that'll be interesting. But anyway, coming up to the end of this video, so uh, I hope you enjoyed that. And I'll be, I'll bring out, a, I'm, I'm going to do a full analysis of what's available on the information on the commander. So look out for that. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>